Tokyo Mirage Sessions FE is known by journalists as one of the best games on the system, but I think it's trash. <laughs> okay, it's not that bad, but I feel like it's a game that is good, but it's not targeted towards somebody like me. It starts off well with a nice anime cinematic of what's happening. A little girl's watching a play and everyone disappears due to unexplained reason and it leaves a nice mysterious vibe. Then it cuts to five years later where they're at school for about a minute and then it cuts again to this event where you're this guy who has the most vacant personality out of any anime character I've ever seen and believe me ladies and gentlemen there is a lot of those out there so the fact that this guy is the most bland of the bland is really something to behold. He pretty much just reacts to what somebody else says. He doesn't really have his own opinion, he just sort of follows the crowd, I, I guess. The game starts off slow. As soon as the game starts and you're about to move, you get a message on your gamepad. You click it and it's just like a bunch of messages on Facebook and you're clicking through these for ages. Then you finally get to play the game and the gamepad turns to a blinding white. I was like, oh, my eyes. So uh, that's when the uh, cover that I have goes over the gamepad screen. You go to talk to people in the room. Nobody says anything interesting. You get two men staring at a picture of a little girl, uh, which is a bit creepy, but I suppose that's Japanese culture. So we'll just go past that. When you go through the game, you'll meet the girl at the start of the game or at the cutscene. She has a crush on him, but she tries to hide it, which is bad at doing so. And the main character is so dense that he doesn't even know what's happening. Her personality isn't much better, but it's better than his. And uh, she's like, oh, I just want to help everybody and make the world a better place. And it's like, give me a fucking break. Who the hell are you, Mary fucking Poppins? She's on the stage saying that rubbish. Then the stage gets taken over by these hooded figures and there's a portal. You have to go through the portal and uh, rescue the girl. Then you go and you get your powers. The game is incredibly girly. It is so cringely girly. I actually feel a bit embarrassed playing the game at times. Cause it's like all the characters are all like showbiz and fashion. Some of the guys seem a bit camp and the girls are like girly girls. Like literally in order to the characters to engage in battles, they have to be good at dancing and singing and performing. It just rubs me the wrong way. The characters are so cliche. There's not one character. Usually, if I don't like something, there's usually at least one character which is mildly entertaining. There's not one character in this damn game that I find remotely interesting. You'll get the occasional villain who's there, who's mildly entertaining, but they're usually not there for very long. It's mostly the main characters and it's so cliche. It's like the main character, apparently uh, all the girls like him for some reason, even though he has the personality of a wet carrot and he looks a bit bland. Probably uh, the reason most people want to play this game is probably uh, the soft core porn. Unfortunately in the West this has been censored. It's not something I particularly care about. Maybe I would have cared about it in my teenage years, but this sort of takes away some of the attraction of playing this type of Japanese game. The actual story is pretty bland. Like you can tell they were just banking on the sexuality of the girls. It's like most of the time I'm just skipping the cutscenes. Like it makes the cutscenes in Xenoblade Chronicle X look like they were written by Shakespeare. Uh, at least they're mildly entertaining at times. The dialogue in this game is never entertaining. And there's not one bit that I laugh at or find remotely interesting. It's just it's like it was written by a 13 year old girl. The best part about this game is the battles. Now, it has a rock, paper, scissors type of theme to it. So you go into a battle, you attack an enemy, and then the next turn it will tell you if that attack is good against it, okay against it, or bad against it. So you're pretty much just like select a move that's good against an enemy, and you're moving on. What I don't like about this is there's no strategy to this. Pretty much you have to grind and grind and grind, even on easy difficulty, just to stand a chance against these guys. And particularly the boss fights, you'll get a warning saying you need to be at least on this level to do this boss. 
and you better follow that warning or you will lose. Doesn't matter how good you are, you'll still lose. What I found was if you get killed in easy difficulty, there's a friendly difficulty, which is the one I pick because it means I don't have to grind all. I can just run past all the enemies, hit X to knock them down and run past them because the grinding, there's no thought to it. So I don't really see the point. The story is not engaging at all. So it's sort of a wee bit difficult for me to play through this game. The enemies are mildly interesting. Like the enemies are interesting to look at. But once you see them the first time, you lose interest. The bosses in particular are a major grind fest. Like you're spending ages upon ages just like cycling over and over and over again. And it's like, why? And the bosses don't really change. They sort of change their style sometimes. Like they'll summon a few enemies. You defeat the enemies, you attack the boss, he summons enemies again. It's, it's rinse and repeat. It's made for people who love that girly anime type thing and they love grinding like it's probably more designed for a female audience if i'm honest it's pretty much your i me culture like oh you have to be a diva you have to be able to uh, express yourself to the world i just couldn't relate to it at all tokyo mirage sessions is a well-designed game but if you're not completely obsessed with japanese culture and you're not really into that girly anime type aspect uh, or you don't like grinding uh, I would say give it a miss 